Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Another politician y'all can put on that list of South Carolina. Another one. Robert DeSantis. This yes. dude here, yo. <laughs> He's a fucking goof. Yo. Ron DeSantis. I say Robert. His name is Ron. I don't care what his name is. Political stunts in my day. <laughs> like, you know, we all, like, I lived through the <laughs> moment. But this take the cake, bro. This dude is a modern day slave trader. Mm-hmm. I'll proudly send you 50 of my finest migrants. Do with them as you will. It's <laughs> not even, not yo, even yo, his this migrants. Is going to 80, back to the 1800s. That, that's what they're trying to do. And that's what it seemed like to me that they're trying to do. And they're not even his migrants. Well, and I, I want to say they're nobody's migrants, but they're from, they were from Texas. <laughs> they're nobody's migrants. I don't want to say nice. that. Yeah. They belong to who? But they, they're from They belong Texas. to the states. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> This dude got hit some, he got some planes, sent them over to Texas to send them over to Massachusetts. Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Vineyard. No, what I want to say on Martha's Vineyard, shout out to them. Because they were, they were really dope for taking them people in and like feeding them, making sure they had shelter and clothing Mm -hmm. and like, like, all right, y'all here. Y'all ain't asked to be here. We got y'all. Come on through. We got y'all. We're going to make sure y'all straight. We ain't going to leave y'all dirty like that. I don't know what this dude was doing, but we got y'all. Like, they was like... They're bringing, they're bringing our property value down with you guys being homeless out here. No, no, no. Let's get you into a room. Let's get you into a room. They're going to set they're you up with something. Yep. They're going to set them up with a little something. Okay. Ship they you know, all again. You know who was a, a main critic of um, DeSantis? Surprisingly. He's nuts. Got it. Exactly. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, God. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump was talking junk about DeSantis for doing it, but not for the reasons you think he said. You think he would, right? Because he says DeSantis took his idea. That's why he's mad. He took his idea. And if you think about it, he probably ranted a lot of times about that. I think that's actually believable or whatever. So what I believe DeSantis is doing is he's 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 making political antics to rile people up so he can look better than Trump. Then rise above the ranks, pretty much. Ain't nobody gonna be but, Trump about to be the president again, bro. Well, um, well, before I say this or whatever, DeSantis, he's about to get charged. They trying to charge him for federal <laughs> kidnapping. As well, he should. Mm-hmm. He took a whole group of people against their will to a whole across state lines. That is definitely federal. Human. He, he's, he's about to get a human trafficking charge. Well, we'll As see. Well, you know, I said. Um, Lock him up that, and then <laughs> send him to South Carolina. Law, along with that, uh, New York uh, Attorney General said they're putting charges on, on Trump also. <laughs> what do you do now? Uh, for a long time, he's been, I don't know, he's just been manipulating the system pretty much. They said they'd be, oh. yeah, like he, they say that he's trying, he's doing the art of the deal. And the lady said, no, he's not doing the art of the deal. He's doing the art of the steal. So basically, he has conned New York City. So much that they tired of this shit. 
Yo, they've been they've been getting riled up by him since the since the eighties. So I I was wondering what took him so long because everybody knows that he's be like inflating his numbers and doing bad uh-huh. business, but he don't pay. Uh, off uh, I'm shit. gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Them people he screwed up, screwed over in the eighties. The kids grew up and they remember that shit. <laughs> and elephant never forget. Mm-hmm. Especially you got the elephant in the room. <laughs> And he got orange skin and mm-hmm. white, white floppy hair. Also, the elephant is the uh, mascot of the Republican Party. So, yeah. Let's see how it all ties together. The cracks are the ass. Yes. Yes. So, along with that, uh, that political party, you know, they trying to rile up all the, uh, just do antics to rile up all the the, the racists and the quiet racists that's out there pretty mm-hmm. much because well maybe they'll give them something to do because lately 